Hey everyone, this is gonna be an exciting video. Lint. Teeth check, I ate a hot dog just barely. So. I love this freaking song. Oh my gosh, the people playing pickleball outside are listening to one of my favorite songs ever. So as y'all can tell from the title, I found a place to live, but not only that, I bought a freaking house. <laughs> and, and I'm still in shock about it. It was really stressful figuring that all out. And I've already started moving in, started moving in some of my stuff. My family's coming down tomorrow to help me move more stuff in and to like hang up blinds and stuff. I don't know how to do that stuff, but this first half of the video, I just want to give you all a tour of my current apartment, soon to be my old, oh my gosh, my shorts made that noise. For some reason, I thought there was an animal. Just to show y'all the current apartment, since I realized I don't think I ever did a little apartment tour for y'all. So first things first, here is the front door, laundry room, and then here is a mirror that I hung up. Then I got little magnets of everywhere I traveled. Painting I did, picture of me. This is just kind of like one room. It's a studio, but it's like one L shape. It's an L shape and then like my bed's right there. And here is my desk where I film all my videos. I moved half of my clothes to my new house. Ooh, that sounds so weird saying that. Oh my gosh, wait, that's weird. Down there is like miscellaneous stuff that I have from videos, like magic straws are down there, a bunch of other stuff. There's my little desk. As you can see, there's little tissues there that I get bloody noses sometimes in the night. And then here's clothes number two, yoga mat, vacuum, whiteboard. I, I tried to hang up this whiteboard so many times, as you can see it, rip the thing. It would, I would always hang it up, and then in the freaking middle of the night, it would drop, and I would like bolt up and think I was about to get murdered. One thing you may realize is, oh my gosh, where's the closet? There's not one. And actually when I was buying like the lease for this apartment on like the online pictures, it said that there was a closet and then there wasn't. Okay, here's the bathroom. That's kind of spooky. Shower right there, towel. That's my whole apartment. And honestly, it's perfect space for me. Like I could probably live in this for the rest of my life. But starting off this video strong, I just want to say thank you all for watching me and supporting me for I think I've done social media for like five years, maybe six years, I don't even know, but thank you guys so much for watching all my stuff and literally would not be able to afford even this apartment without y'all. But without further ado, I'm gonna take y'all back to yesterday and I'll take y'all on the wild ride of closing on the house and my new house tour. So once again, thank you guys. And yeah, without further ado, yesterday. That's the sound of me rewinding. What up y'all, good morning. I am headed to the loan office for my house. Um, this was kind of a last second appointment just to finalize the down payment. After this, I'm headed to the closing ceremony and the closing ceremony, you just like sign a bunch of stuff, I guess, just a bunch of paperwork. And I asked one of my friends, I was like, how much paperwork is this? Because this morning I had to sign a bunch of documents online for the house too. So I like signed it once and then I had to click everywhere I wanted the signature and it took me like five minutes. So I'm like, how much paperwork will it be if I'm hand signing it? Like how long is this gonna take? And she said, just you wait. I haven't slept a wink at all. I was up at like 7 a.m. and I went to sleep like 1 a.m. This house stuff's stressful. First time using the bathroom at the new house. Oh my gosh, there's pee on the seat. That's pee. Someone peed on my seat. Someone used this toilet before me. They peed on the seat and didn't wipe it. First pee on the seat in the new house. Now. Hey everyone, welcome to the new house tour. Let me first take off my shoes. Wait, why am I nervous? I'm sweating. But fun fact, this will be a shoe house since I love wearing shoes inside. Nothing's decorated yet, but I'm thinking maybe in a couple, it'll probably take months until this house is fully decorated. But in a couple months, we'll do another walkthrough when everything's in it. So first room we got 
is this coat closet. And all the closets in this house are really, really big. And my favorite thing about this is it opens just the right way that I can slide right behind it. The second room is the guest bathroom. No, the living room bathroom. Yeah, for guests. The mudroom. Mudroom? Not in this house. <laughs> Did you hear my car lock? That scares me every time. And there's a sink here and then a toilet. This is kind of a long reach, honestly. If you're sitting there and trying to reach for that. This is the living room and then also the kitchen. It's really, really big. I want to put a TV right here. Then there's these two windows here in my backyard. And then right here, you'll never guess, it's another closet. And this is probably where I'm going to put apples to apples. Um, Hungry, hungry hippos. This is the game closet for games. This is the kitchen. This is the pantry. And right here is where the fruit snacks will be. This is the fridge. We found out recently that um, these aren't in line. And I'm too scared to complain about it, so it'll probably be like that forever. Then it also has an ice maker, and I haven't had an ice maker for the past three years. And I'm gonna miss making my own ice. This is the succulent that my real estate agent gave to me. And then this is one of my favorite parts. So one of the musts of the house is I wanted an island like this, so I could film cooking videos. And then I also really like this cabinet. Since look how, it, that's like the perfect hide and go seat spot. Here's the oven, microwave, and then this is all just storage. This house has a lot of storage. And then I really like these. These just don't have any lights on them, but they swing. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Any lights on them? Oh, I mean, any glass on, well, <laughs> they don't have like the, Thing on it, glass. Okay, and then our next step is up the stairs and it's gonna get a lot less echoey since we're going where there's carpet. So there is the most opportune spot for a chandelier right here, but I probably won't get one. So over here is the laundry room and we got this and this. They actually came with a house, same thing with the oven and the fridge. And then this right here is my wife, I think. So this is the other closet, which is really, really big for no reason. Like, look how big this is. And I'm six foot. I'm not sure what to do with this. Maybe this is where I'll put the vacuum. Is there an outlet here too? Um, this is probably where I'll put the vacuum. I don't know what else. It's kind of really big. This could be my office, honestly. I could set a desk right here and put my chair and film my videos in here. Lighting's probably pretty good, too. Okay, here is bedroom number one. This is either my brother that's holding the camera's bedroom or the guest bedroom. Are you choosing this one? or? And there's a horse right there. Grazing. And then this is the closet. I'm gonna make this a guest bedroom, so if any friends are driving through, or if like one of my siblings is driving through, they can stay here. I think I'm gonna do bunk beds right here. This is the other bedroom. If you look out your window, you'll never guess. The horse grazing. Same horse, too. No, there's two. Same horse tube too. Other closet, it's kind of the exact same. I think the bedrooms are the exact same, but I don't know for sure. Did you measure it? Mm -hmm. We're probably, probably the exact same. Right here is the loft area, and I think I'm gonna make this a reading nook. Since there's three places I could put a TV, living room, here, and then my bedroom, but I don't really like TVs. I don't like TVs in my bedroom. And I, I think this, like this is really, this would be really good for reading books. But the last time I read a book was last year. So, but if, maybe I would read if there was a little nook. Would you read if there was a nook? 
Yeah. What do you read in your room? And then this is my room. So this is the first closet. Really, really big. And then there's a littler closet on this side. So, I don't know what I'll put in this. Well, one thing I was thinking was maybe spring and summer and then fall and winter. This room's absolutely huge. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this space. But bed right here, and then maybe a couch. We'll see, maybe a couch right here, I don't really know. It's always been a, been a dream to have a couch in a room, in a, in a bedroom. <laughs> so I think if there was just the teensiest little couch right here, and then there was a bed, and then it's like, Reading nuke number two. This is the master bed. It sounded like I was singing. You said master bed. <laughs> this is the master bathroom. <laughs> this is the master bathroom. Do it again, I wasn't looking. <laughs> this is the master. <laughs> Slow down. This is the master bathroom. And we have to have these blocks of wood holding up this mirror until June 1st, so that will be really nice. And then here, let me get all these lights. And then right here is the shower door. We got these two cupboards for who knows what, um, since we got those cupboards down there. And this whole time living in my apartment, I've not even had cupboards in my bathroom. I've had two cupboards like this. So I fit all my stuff in my bathroom in something like this, but now I have this. So, if you guys have any suggestions for stuff to put in your bathroom, let me know. Let's go down to the stairs. Let's go down to the stairs. You. Go down the stairs. <laughs> Let's go down the stairs. <laughs> it kind of feels like there's someone else in the house at all times, which I, I'm already paranoid about that in my apartment. Like I'll check behind my shower curtain practically every day. And then sometimes I'll get real scared and check under my bed even. <laughs> but, and now it's like a bigger thing. And I check the doors to make sure they're locked every second in my apartment. So how am I gonna do it with three do doors? We looked at probably like 12 houses or something like that during this whole process, and this was by far the our favorite one that we saw. It is so echoey. Let's move up the stairs. I'm really excited to get this place furnished, and I wanna bring y'all along with it, so subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll decorate this house together, and y'all can see the finished um, product. But thank you everyone for watching. I obviously wouldn't be in this house without y'all. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Honestly, it's a dream come true. This feels like my dream house. And for a lot of people, their dream house is a mansion, not even a townhome, but this is plenty big. I don't even know where to start. And also, if you didn't know, furniture is crazy expensive. The only thing I bought for this house is a dang mattress. And it was $600 and my mom called me and she's like, that's a really good deal, hurry and get that mattress. And I was like, 600. And I got that mattress. And that, I think that's the only thing of furniture. You don't have a bed yet, do you? Yeah. Well, maybe. We may borrow a bed for him. So I don't really know how long furniture is gonna take. Also, there's not even Wi-Fi set up here. Also, let me know if I should get a chandelier. Wouldn't that be so nice? I feel like it's in a bad spot. For what do you mean? The it, light. Well, it would be better right here. Oh, that's true. No one ever has a chandelier smack dab in the middle, do they? No, I'm saying it would be better in the middle. Not against Why the do wall. you think that's the middle? This is obviously the middle. No, this is right here. How is that the middle? The middle oh, is. no, right here's the middle. Here up. We are struggling, so if anyone has any advice how to decorate this house, please let us know. And I'll see y'all next video.